Okay, here's today's mystery package that just came in the mail. I guess there's only one way to find out what's in it. Use our box opening tool and find out. Hopefully this won't be a mail bomb in here. And I guess if it is, nice knowing you. Hold on a minute. Can't do anything with one hand. Okay. Lots of packing peanuts. That's always a good sign. Nothing exploded when I opened the box. That's an even better sign. Whatever it is, it looks to be kind of reddish brown. I bet, I bet this is a reel-to-reel -reel tape recorder. Get the bubble wrap off and have a closer look at it. Yeah, it says Sony Solid State. Yep, this is a little three inch reel to reel tape recorder. And we even got some brand new recording tape to go with it and a microphone. So this unit is AC operated. Give it a try and see what it does. A Sony tape quarter, model TC-123, probably from the late 1960s. Operates on AC voltages between 110 and 240 volts. Sony Corporation, Tokyo, Japan. I imagine this was made for export, seeing as how it will operate on so many voltages. And it's a heavy duty little joker. It's not not lightweight, so it should be a good quality unit. Okay, we're now recording. Let's see how well this thing works. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Let's see how well a 1967 Sony tape recorder works after 46 years. I have a feeling it'll probably work pretty good. Okay, let's stop it now and rewind it and see what we come up with. Stop it now and rewind it and see what we come up with. Yeah, that works pretty good. I have a feeling it'll probably work pretty good. Okay, let's stop it now and rewind it and see what we come up with. Not, not bad for something that's 45, 46 years old. I'd like to see some of these new Chinese recorders work that well in that length of time. Mainly these types of recorders were intended for voice recording. This was popular before the days of cassette recording. Pretty much when cassettes were introduced in the mid to late 60s, they, they sort of phased these types of recorders out. I think Radio Shack still offered a recorder like this as recent as the early 70s, but that was pretty much the end of them. This is actually a two-speed machine, one and seven-eighths inches per second and three and three-quarter inches per second. And the way you change the speed is by unscrewing this little capstan sleeve, which goes right there. And I believe this is probably a little storage area for the sleeve. And now we'll make a recording at the one and seven-eighths inches per second speed. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Let's see how good this tape recorder sounds when recorded at one and seven-eighths inches per second. Seeing as how this is voice, it should probably do okay. It probably wouldn't do too good for music, but these types of recorders generally weren't 
used for music anyway. Okay, let's stop the tape and see how it did. Recorded at one and seven eighths inches per second. Seeing as how this is voice, it should probably do okay. It probably wouldn't do too good for music, but these types of recorders generally weren't used for music anyway. Okay, let's stop the tape and see how it did. Not bad at all. Okay, there you go, my late 60s Sony reel-to-reel -reel tape recorder. And it's amazing that all this junk I've got over here, I, I do not have one of these types of tape recorders, so when this one became available to me, I jumped on it. And eventually I probably will open it up and give it a good overhaul and lubricate it and whatnot just to help ensure that it continues to work. But it's not bad for being 46 years old and still working as good as it does. Okay, there you go. Thanks for watching and more to come later. And as an added bonus, these little pamphlets came inside the box of each one of these uh, reels of GE recording tape. It's pretty interesting. It explains all about the tape. As you can see there. And then opened up we have advertisements for various GE reel-to-reel -reel tape recorders as well as other information. So that's an added bonus that we got that. The only major thing I see is the there were some little tabs on this lid to keep it closed so you could carry the recorder without the lid falling off and those tabs are broken off so I'll have to try to fabricate something to replace those. I do hear some little pieces of plastic rattling around inside of here so that could very well be the broken tabs so I have to open this up and see if so maybe I can super glue them back in place Okay, there you are. I really am done now. This late 60s Sony model TC-123 reel-to-reel tape recorder. Thanks for watching and more to come.